Hey guys, RPM here. Hope y'all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I just received this Jazzminer X4-C1U. And apparently, this does about 450 mega hash mining Ethereum or Ethereum Classic and at about 240 watts, which is incredible. This is obviously it would I would say right now this would be the most efficient Ethereum miner out there in the world and so I'm gonna be testing that out in another video in this video I'm gonna be opening it up because I'm very curious to know what is inside I've seen a lot of videos of people testing this out which is great and I will do that as well but the main thing for me is I, I do want to open this up first just to see what it looks like inside and maybe some of you guys are curious as well so thank you to Jingle Mining who just sent me this and I think they also sent them out to a couple other crypto mining tubers as well which is pretty cool so I guess we're all gonna be testing this out and you're probably gonna see a lot of reviews on this amongst a lot of other uh, tubers as well including myself so I do want to do a lot of testing on this and I will try to do some you know Wireshark or uh, PF Sense, uh, snorting, or any stuff like that, just to see, you know, where the the packets are going. If you know this is actually sending shares to Ethermine, that is something that I'm very curious about. And uh, I'm not saying that this could be a a scam or something, but it's interesting to know that this Jazz Miner 450 Mega Hash is the most efficient thing out there right now. And look at that, the power is back here, and the Ethernet. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to open up, just, just taking out all the screws here. Just quickly do that and uh, we'll take out the lid right now. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to bring it a bit closer to you all so you can see what's going on. So it looks like, does this come out? What is this? Uh, this is like a, this is like a, this is like a fan shroud. You know what? This has screws in it. We got to take these out too. Why not? Let's take these out in a snap. Woo! Look at that. That is a, that is a huge, that is a huge look at heat, heat sink on this thing. Wow. Okay, I want to go right down. Looks like there's a few more screws on the right here and on the left. Over there, we got to take out in order to see the, I guess, essentially the ASIC chips. Maybe FPGA chips or something. Probably ASIC. All right, let me, let me just unscrew these guys. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Looks like this can come up. No? Oh, this is the whole board. Ah, just, okay. All right. All right, looks like that. Wow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. So how do I take off the, ah, the heat sink. Okay. All right, this is a, this is a, bit more involved. All right, so I need to take out these screws at the bottom. Not sure if you guys can see that right here, here, all, all of these in order to take off the, uh, uh, the, the, the back plate, the metal back plate right here or front plate. All right, let me, let me do that carefully, very carefully. Hold on. I'll just do it in a snap for you guys. Be right back. Okay. Oh, there, oh wow, that's a lot of, that's a lot of thermal paste, Woo! oh my god, I just realized I'll, I'll need to replace the thermal paste on all this, here's the, this side here, so there's nine, basically nine different chips on here, let me put this down, and here is all the CPU looking ASIC chips. Uh, I'm not sure if, yeah, it says ASICs. ASIC, ASIC 1, ASIC 2, ASIC 3, ASIC 4, ASIC 5, 
ASIC 6 here, ASIC 7, and ASIC number 8. So I'm curious just to know like what type of like what type of chips these are. And I am not like I don't know anything about silicon or processors or different ASIC chips or FPGA chips. Okay, so this is just something I wanted to open it up for you guys so in case anyone wanted to take a look at it. There is some wording up here. I don't know what that means or says. You know what? Let me let me take all the thermal paste off. Be right back. Okay. <laughs> oh, that took a while to clean up all the thermal paste. I even cleaned up on the uh, the heat sink as well. But look at this, guys. Here you go. There by itself. We got right in the middle. I thought this was a CPU, but it says Xilinx Spartan 7. So this is like an, I think Xilinx, this is a FPGA chip. And then these two right here, it says these are Micron. It, it, it has Micron memory. I, I'm not sure what this is, what this is used for, but yeah, memory chips right here. And then, yeah, I don't know what, I don't know what these guys are, but it does say Jazz Miner on it. And there is some, I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but it's, it says made in, made, innovated in China. Okay, the Xilinx chip says made in Taiwan. So that is something, that's pretty cool. As well, I wanted to show you guys the back, in case anyone was interested. Look at that. That's a lot of, I don't know what these are called, but um, there's definitely a lot going on the back here. A lot of stuff, so pretty cool. Yeah, and then over here is the two six pin for power. I do not know what this is for. I'm sure it's for communicating for the FPGA. I don't know. Uh, th this is, yeah, this is communication for the whole board, I think, as it goes into. So actually, let me, let me take you guys out here. All right, so let's put this over here. Good thing, hopefully I remember how to put this all back together. There is a lot of screws here. So, looking at this now, okay, so the ethernet is here. This must be the, ah, this must be like the motherboard. And there are some micron, we got some micron chips right here. And this is a, I don't know what, ah, this is Xilinx, Xilinx Zyno. I don't know what that is, looks like another FPGA chip. So, I don't know if this is the the like the CPU motherboard or something. And then there's a bunch of these low powered fans on the inside here, right? Just be mindful, this whole thing takes apparently 240 watts, right? There's a 300 watt power supply here. Win, win got, win go. I never heard this brand, but it looks to be neatly cable managed, right? And then in the front, I'm assuming all uh, oh, these are like the LEDs. Uh, LEDs for power, normal, fault, and IP report. Ah, similar to like ASIC miners. They have the IP report button, that's awesome. So I want to quickly read off what Jingle Mining has here in terms of what is happening here. So we talked about, they already have the built-in fans there. It's got the built-in power supply. It's very small, it's very compact. We all know that, very low power consumption. This is the part where I'm, I'm interested in. So it says, equipped with the world's first memory computing integrated high throughput processor. Operating system allows the chip to run both at 200 megahertz and 225 megahertz and performance while running at 225 megahertz is significantly better than standard computing power. So the optimal computing power for the X41U can reach approximately 580 to 600 mega hash, way above claimed uh, computing power. Wow, so we can get higher than 450 mega hash? Next thing here, they said the memory access bandwidth 1 TB processing capacity per chip up to 65 mega hash and power consumption is only 23 watts. Wow, 23 watts for each of these, that's, that's incredible. And then there are eight chips in the X41U, quiet and easy to use. So yeah, there's, uh, there's these eight and then the Xilinx chip in the, in the middle there. So that was what I was given in terms of the information uh, regarding these. So I think that's, that's pretty cool. So that's it guys, that's all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to take this apart, open it up, show you guys, 
and then I'm gonna put this all back together. Hopefully it still works after I did all that. And I think, oh man, I just, I don't think I have enough thermal paste to, <laughs> to cover everything again, but that should be fine. In another video, guys, I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna test it all out, all that fun stuff. And uh, I'm gonna do a lot of thorough testing just to make sure, you know, the shares from this thing is actually going to, let's say, Ethermine. That, that's, that's one of the big things I'm, I'm curious about. And uh, yeah, that'll be for another video, guys. We'll test this out. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you to Jingo Mining for sending me this wonderful, wonderful 1U server ASIC miner. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out. I guess I don't have warranty anymore. I'm sure in Chinese that means if opened, no warranty. Oops.